Now that you guys have seen how to track a moving object using a pre-recorded video of a moving object, I'm going to show you guys how to use your webcam, whether it's the webcam on your computer or an external webcam. So if you haven't seen the video of how to uh, track a moving object from a pre-recorded video, you can click this little bubble here. Uh, if this is your first time uh, with a Visual Studio project and open CV libraries, click on this link here and it'll show you uh, how to set it up and then you can watch this video. So this is the code from the pre-recorded video. So you can see that's the link for it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use your camera. So um, click on new item here and I'm going to call it uh, no color webcam track. All right, so I'm going to take this one out. You can remove, click remove. If you click delete, that file will be completely deleted. But if you click remove, then it'll just delete it from this list here. But you can always add it again by pressing existing item and it's right there so you, you can double click but for now we'll remove it um, i already have the code set up on my desktop so i'm going to double click copy and paste here now again um, if you watch the video before this one i've compiled this code and modified it for my needs from existing code and you can find uh, you can find the tutorial that I use to compile this uh, in the links below so there are a few changes this time around I'll go through them really quick uh, I've changed the sensitivity value and the blur size and these are just uh, values that you can modify yourself depending on what you're trying to track if you keep scrolling down you can see that I've made um, my circle a bit smaller than 50, so 30 this time. Um, and this is just from working with it before I, I'm showing you guys. So you can modify this and make sure you modify your crosshairs as well. You can make your crosshairs bigger, larger, it doesn't matter. So here you can enter text as well. It says modified. I took the text out. I just wanted to know the X and Y coordinates. So if you remember in the other video, I didn't go into um, detail about it, but here we no longer have the video path, the file path for the video. Now we'll be using a webcam. So remember that zero equals built-in camera and one equals external. All right, so I'm going to be using an external camera because I've already set it up to show uh, the moving ball. And also make note of this. This loop is now outside of a while loop that used to be there. So um, you guys can, you can check the code that I had before, check it against this one, and you'll see that this is now outside. Uh, for this purpose, if you don't want to go into that much detail, just go ahead and download this um, this code and it'll work for you as well so keep scrolling down I haven't changed any of this um, again if you click D if you debug it it'll show you uh, the different frames that I showed you guys before where you saw the the moving object in black and white um, I've also modified the weight key Again, you can make this larger, smaller, just play with these values, uh, the ones that say modified, and, you know, it'll clean up the, uh, the video for you guys. So, yeah, I think that's all I changed. And again, I'm using an external camera. So, we'll debug this. And you can see this is the image that I'm looking at. So I'm going to roll the ball back and forth a few times. 
that's what it looks like. And again, this is live, it's not pre-recorded. All right, so now I'm going to track it by pressing T. Okay, you can see the crosshairs are looking for a moving object. And there you go. Again, you can clean up your code, make this, uh, make this a little bit more accurate. For the purposes of this tutorial, this is fine. And again, one of the major advantages to this is that you do not need to filter the color of the object you're trying to track. So later on, I'll show you guys how to filter colors. But for now, all you need is a stationary camera and a moving object. All right, so in order to get out of this, you press escape. There you go. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching.